welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video let's learn about requirement elicitation and analysis in the subject of software engineering so this is basically the step two in the requirement engineering process the first one was feasibility study you already uh, saw it in the previous video right so this is going to be the step two so let's see what we will do in this step and uh, yeah let's go ahead first first of all this is the step where we gather the information from the stakeholders using different different methods okay so first of all what are stakeholders i guess i already explained in my previous videos but let me tell you who all are involved in the project it could be customers it could be developers it could be managers it could be anybody who are all involved in using this project or using the software will come under the stakeholders okay so you gather the information from different people using different different methods so what are those first one is the interviews viewpoints brainstorming and use cases let's see each of them first interview so in interview you will conduct an interview in order to understand the customer expectations from the software usually what is an interview you sit and you ask questions to the opposite person and they answer right so in the same way an interview will be conducted for different different stakeholders first you will go and you'll ask you'll talk to the customer customer will give you some requirements then you'll go you'll talk to the developer then you go you talk to the testing team so each and everybody will give you different different requirements so you gather all those things you ask them questions and you gather all the information from them and this uh, interviews could be of two types first one is the open ended and the second one is with closed or structure so what do you mean by open ended that means there is no um, agenda what do you mean by agenda agenda is nothing but meeting plan so there is no predefined agenda there is no predefined context or you know there is no predefined questions like you have to ask only these questions it basically goes as a discussion so you talk something the opposite person will talk something you ask some follow up questions it will go in this way so there is no predefined uh, plan to execute this next is closed or structure what do you mean by closed or structure that means it will focus on a particular topic like let's say you want to uh, know about front end only front end how the front end should look or you want to know about how many buttons you want to have in the front end what all buttons you want to have in the front end and where you want to uh, show that buttons on the front end so all like a particular topic will be focused on okay that is about the closed or structured type of interviews next one is the viewpoints viewpoint is nothing but it is based on the point of view of the stakeholders so again i told you what are stakeholders so customer will have different a point of view about the project the developer will have different pov uh, the testing team will have different pov so different different people will have different different point of views right you will collect all their point of views and you will come up with uh, something from that okay that is viewpoints next is the brainstorming so in brainstorming what will happen is many people will gather at one place and they will put all their ideas in the group what all they think what all they need everything will be uh, they'll just sit and they'll just talk about it okay after talking about it all the ideas or the best ideas or whatever they talk will be uh, documented and from these documentation uh you will be picking the requirements which 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 are you know which you think are very important okay so next is the uh, use cases the other method uh, not only these four not only interviews viewpoints brainstorming interviews there are so many other different techniques but these are like the most common techniques we can say in use cases you will be combining the text and pictures together and it will provide you with a better understanding of the requirements so um like it is always better to understand it in the form of pictures right pictures means don't assume like you know uh, normal fancy fancy pictures and colors and all nothing will be there you'll be having use case diagrams uh, hope i think we will be discussing about use case, use case diagrams in the coming videos so you'll be having actor you you know there are some characters in that based on that diagram you'll try to understand the system that is about the use cases so in this requirement elicitation and analysis process what are the steps involved first you'll have to identify the stakeholders who are all the st stakeholders who are all involved in this project you have to identify that next you have to uh, sorry you have to uh, gather the requirements from these stakeholders you have to talk to them you have to gather the requirements from them 
okay and after gathering the requirements you'll have to um, you know prioritize those requirements like which are mostly it will be like must have these are the must have things these are the should have things okay and next could be could so these are like optional okay and next would be won't have that means you don't have to implement this you have to prioritize the requirements which one is very important which one is second important third important and which one is least important so this prioritization you have to do and then you'll also have to categorize the requirements so you'll have to um, basically divide the requirements into achievable or deferred or impossible that means achieve the word the i mean you know the terminology itself says you achievable means what you can do it you can implement it okay you can do it you can okay that is achievable deferred means what these implementations um can be done they can be implemented but not now they are like they you know they are not really needed for now you can implement them at later point of time also okay you can implement them later so these are called the deferred you ba basically defer them deferring is nothing but postpone them you do it later if you have time you have resources you have everything then you'll do it later and impossible are something which you cannot be uh, doing okay this can't be done and these impossible requirements should be removed from the list of the requirement and they should be removed from the srs as well because they cannot be implemented you don't have uh, enough things in your hand to implement this so those kind of requirements can be eliminated okay so this is about the requirement elicitation and analysis it is a very simple thing so it's, it's basically a step it is a step where you gather the information from the stakeholders stakeholders are nothing but customers developers everybody and in that you have different different techniques you conduct interviews you conduct you take their viewpoints that means their point of views you conduct brainstorming sessions and you explain it using use cases and all and in these what are the steps involved first you will identify the stakeholders then you will gather all the requirements from these stakeholders you will conduct all these four methods and you will gather the requirements from them and after that you will prioritize your requirements once you prioritize your requirements you will categorize them as well you will categorize them into achievable or deferred or impossible so this is all for this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end so in the next video let's learn about the second i mean the remaining steps in the uh, requirement engineering process and also let me know if you want any other videos let me know that in the comment section so yeah that's all guys thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video thank you